The Realme X3 Super Zoom sports a 6.6 inch 120Hz display. It is however an LCD panel and the bezels that wrap around the screen are little thicker than an OLED panels, but it's still a very good looking screen. The panel is vibrant, bright and has high contrast. The X3 may not have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor, which is the current top end option, but it still has enough power to keep even the most demanding user happy. It's got a Snapdragon 855 Plus chip, which is the upgraded version of the 855 that launched in the late 2019 on devices like the OnePlus 70 and 70 Pro. It was more than enough then and it will be more than enough now. It comes with two variant, one with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage and the other one is 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. In daily use, the X3 Super Zoom loads apps and games without an issue and responds quickly to any gesture or motion on the touch screen. The main camera system consists of four cameras, a 64MP Samsung ISOCELL GW1 sensor, an 8MP wide-angle camera with a 190-degree field of vision, a 2MP macro lens that can really get close-up shots, and the iconic 8MP periscope lens. This periscope zoom lens can capture almost lossless 10x zoom and digital zoom up to 60x. The X3 Super Zoom can take good pictures with vibrant colors and contrast and dynamic range is fine. Being a 4 camera system along with Super Zoom Periscope camera gives you a lot of variety to play with, so that means it's great for your creative mind. Realme opted for a dual selfie camera system on the front and that means the ability to switch between regular and ultra wide shots. Photos are very good for a mid tier device at this price range but they fall short of flagships. You can record 4K video at 60fps and 960fps super slow-mo at 720p resolution. The 4200mAh battery is almost enough to power the phone all day. Keep in mind you are running the screen at full 120Hz resolution. If you lower it to 60Hz, battery life will last through the night easily. It supports 30W fast charging. Realme X50 Pro 5G is the second flagship smartphone by the company after the X2 Pro. Realme X50 Pro features an aluminium glass sandwich design with a layer of Gorilla Glass 5 both on the front and back. It is a bit smaller than the X2 Pro but slightly heavier due to a bigger battery and new processor. The rear panel of the phone has a OnePlus 7 like smooth matte finish that feels good in the hand. Realme X50 Pro features a 6.44 inch Full HD Plus resolution Super AMOLED screen with dual punch hole cutouts for two front facing cameras. This gives the screen a 20 by 9 aspect ratio which is decent for watching videos or movies on the phone. The display has a 90Hz high refresh rate which means that you will notice smoother transitions while scrolling, browsing, watching videos or playing games. The screen is also certified for HDR10 Plus playback. There is a wide range of options available to make the screen more comfortable to view. Realme X50 Pro is powered by a state-of-the-art Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset with an octa-core CPU and Adreno 650 GPU. This flagship processor is 25% faster and more efficient than the previous generation chipsets. It is also the first smartphone in India to ship with Snapdragon 865 5G chipset. This is further supported by a 6GB slash 8GB slash 12GB RAM. Realme X50 Pro uses an upgraded vapor cooling system for the thermal management with faster heat dissipation across 6 layers of graphite sheet, vapor chamber, copper foil and silica. This helps the phone sustain peak performance when playing graphics intensive games for hours. We played a bunch of different games on it such as Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile, Asphalt 9 and so on. This phone can easily power all the major titles that you can think of without breaking a sweat. Realme X50 Pro features a quad camera setup which consists of a primary 64 megapixel camera that uses Samsung GW1 sensor with an 1.8 aperture, another 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 20x hybrid zoom, an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens with an 119 degree field of view and finally a 2 megapixel monochrome lens for portrait mode. On the front there's a pair of selfie cameras with a 32 megapixel Sony IMX616 sensor and an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens with a 105 degree field of view. The cameras on the X50 Pro are capable of recording 4K video at 30 fps, full HD slow motion videos at 120 fps, real time bokeh video and more. Realme X50 Pro has a decent set of cameras that are versatile. The cameras are capable of making sharp and detailed pictures with close to natural colors. 
The dynamic range is also decent and there are features like chroma boost to increase the saturation and vibrancy in pictures. Realme X50 Pro comes with a 4200 mAh battery with support for 65W super dark charging and 18W power delivery charging. This is an even speedier fast charging standard than the one we have seen on the Realme X2 Pro and the company claims that their super dark solution is capable of topping up the phone from 0% to 100% in just 30 minutes. Realme X50 Pro is a really powerful smartphone packing in the latest and greatest with Snapdragon 865 chip from Qualcomm. It fulfills all the necessary requirements of being a flagship phone. With every new model, Realme changes the design of the back and for the 6 Pro we now have a lightning inspired design in either blue or orange. The glossy finish of the back makes this phone very slippery but thankfully it's Gorilla Glass 5. The Realme 6 Pro features a 6.6 .6 inch LCD display with a dual punch hole cutout. The 6.6 .6 inch LCD panel on the Realme 6 Pro is capable of 90Hz refresh rate and you can switch between 60Hz and 90Hz from settings or leave it on auto and let the software decide. Even though this isn't an AMOLED panel, we found the colors and brightness to be more than adequate. Realme is proud of the fact that the Realme 6 Pro is the world's first phone to feature the Snapdragon 720G mobile chipset. The Snapdragon 720G is a powerful chip, so as expected general uses and multitasking was handled superbly. Actual gaming performance is pretty solid too, PUBG Mobile ran smoothly at relatively high graphics setting, battery drain was under 10% after a 30 minute watch which is good and there wasn't much heating either. The Realme 6 Pro is available in three versions, one with 6GB of RAM and 64GB of storage, another with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, and the top-end variant with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. The Realme 6 Pro has a similar rear camera setup to the Realme 6, but with the depth camera swapped for a telephoto camera. There's a 64MP primary sensor and 8MP ultra-wide camera, a 12 megapixel telephoto camera with 2x optical zoom and 20x hybrid zoom and a 2 megapixel macro camera in the front we have a 16 megapixel primary camera and a second 8 megapixel wide angle camera you will be happy with the landscapes and close up shots with the realme 6 pro during the day distant objects have fairly good details colors are well represented and hdr works very well photos captured by the telephoto camera were decent too in low light, the primary camera is pretty capable and manages a fair bit of detail with good colors. We were quite impressed with the quality and detail in photos taken with the front cameras. The wide-angle camera is great for taking a group selfie and you can even shoot videos with it but night mode only works on the main selfie camera. The 6 Pro also supports slow motion selfies with the primary selfie camera. The Realme 6 Pro can shoot videos at up to 4K but only at 30fps. Video quality is generally good at 4K but if you are moving a lot then it's best to stick to 1080p resolution. The Realme 6 Pro packs in a respectable 4300 mAh battery with the support for 30W fast charging. The 6 Pro delivers a solid day and a half of battery life even with heavy uses. The 30W fast charger manages to charge the battery from 0 to about 90% in an hour which again is very quick.